BC Big 2 Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some pretty breezy conditions right now out there. Thanks to that cold front that's on its way into West Texas. You can see our sky tracker kind of bouncing around a little bit, indicating some gusty conditions for at least the next couple of hours. Now, because that wind's coming in from the northeast, though, it's packing some cold air. And it really makes things feel cold outside, even though our unofficial temperature reading here at the station is at 40 degrees. Thanks to those winds, it feels much, much colder out there. So if you have any late evening plans tonight, make sure to bundle up throughout the rest of the night. Thanks to our sky tracker though here. Good look at those clear skies and those windy conditions and switching over here to our satellite and radar. You can see that cold front is actually pretty difficult to define, meaning it's not a very strong cold front. Typically, the stronger the front is, the easier it is to see on satellite and radar, but you can almost barely make out that there's a little bit of a cloud cover layer moving in from the north as well as a little bit of snow getting popped up there in New Mexico. So again, a weak front is on its way to West Texas, kicking up our winds speeds, dropping our temperatures down, but as it approaches, I expect it to dry out similarly to the last front that we saw, which did not really produce too much in the way of uh, snowfall or anything like that. But this next one, even weaker, so I don't expect any freezing fog or icy conditions here across the basin for the rest of the night. Now, south of I-10, conditions are a little more humid. You can see a little more cloud cover out that way, so we may be looking at a small, small chance for some wintry mix as we head into tomorrow morning, but for the most part, I expect that to only be confined to the highest of the high elevations here in West Texas. And we've also got a high wind warning in effect, though. This is the only weather alert that's active right now, and it is set to expire at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning central time here in the Guadalupe Pass. Wind speeds could be gusting up to about 65, 75 miles per hour throughout the rest of the evening in the pass. So do be careful driving through there. If a truck route or anything like that places you through the pass the rest of this evening. Here in the basin though, wind speeds will remain elevated for the rest of the night, but we will be calming down as we head into tomorrow morning. Single digits just about area wide, especially throughout the basin as we get closer to sunrise tomorrow morning. However, I do expect winds to gust a little stronger than what we've got out there, uh, at least as far as sustained speed. So we could be seeing winds gusting up to about 10, 15 miles miles per hour. Now, as we continue through the rest of the night, you can see that cold front kind of drooping in from the north, kicking up a small amount of cloud cover for the basin as it passes through. But once we get closer to sunrise, most of that activity will be dying down. You can also see not too much in the way of any snow or wintry mix or anything like that, even at the higher elevations for this latest model run, which is great news. That means ice concerns are going to be kept to a minimum as we head into tomorrow morning. But temperatures will be kept to a minimum as well. We'll be down in the 20s again for tomorrow morning as well as Saturday and Sunday mornings. So make sure to watch out for the four P's people, plants, pipes and pets. It is going to be chilly. So pull in any plants or pets you normally keep outdoors just so that everybody's warm and safe and happy inside. Highs will pick up to 49 tomorrow, 62 on Saturday and 67 on Sunday before we warm all the way up to the 70s early next week, followed by another cold front uh, Wednesday coming with a real small chance for some snow flurries. 15 might be the coldest I've seen on the yeah. forecast so far. <laughs> next week next looks week. like uh, we're getting a whopper of a cold front next week. Okay. Yeah. Still in the depths of winter, aren't we, Jim? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it seems like it's coming a little late this season, but uh, we're making up for lost time. I'll tell you that much. Indeed. All right, thank you. Thanks.